with this note, I welcome all of you. Uh, today we have this Ms. Prem Bala Dutt with us. She's our subject matter expert, having experience of more than 15 years. She's an editor, author, written a lot of many books. So ma'am, we welcome you and uh, you can present your screen and the platform is all yours. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And uh, good evening, everyone. And today I'm here, here in front of you to discuss about the IT subject, IT402. And I'm just presenting my screen. I hope it is visible. So um, the basic things which we'll be discussing today in this session will be about the bifurcation of the syllabus uh, for term two specifically, the analysis of a sample paper as per the CBSC pattern and um, the complete syllabus which is going to come for your term two exam. Chapter wise, important topics, which as a teacher, we need to cover up. We need to discuss with the students. We need to highlight that. Then what are the challenges which we have faced, which the students might be facing and how to overcome that specifically for this subject and what all strategies we have to follow to make it in such a way so that the students may score maximum mark for this particular subject. So to begin with, the subject code, as you all know, is IT402. And uh, the curriculum as decided by the CBSC is, I'm just going to uh, co cover over there. But yes, the basic key points why this subject has been introduced, what was the purpose of his, uh, was there to introduce that in class 10th was to develop the holistic approach specifically in the computer field. So if I talk about uh, IT, it is not only programming, it is not only for database, it is not only for only and only uh, app building and all, it is overall. So they are giving the overall approach so that a child may excel in any of the specific fields, whichever of his choice is. So they uh, have introduced, they have introduced certain topics like data entry and keyboarding skills, which is a necessity nowadays. And I'm very sure most of the students during this pandemic have um, developed that skills for the keyboard and all. The concept of digital documentation, the con concept of digital presentation, electronic spreadsheet, and database and internet technologies. So as per the uh, as per the CBSC, the, so the term has been divided into term one and term two. And for uh, the syllabus has been divided into, into four parts. That is part A, B, C, and D. In part A, the term two syllabus will be for entrepreneurial skills and green skills. The total weightage for this term two, uh, unit four and five will be for five marks. Whereas in part B, if I talk about term two consists of unit one, which says digital documentation advance, web application and the security. Then later on, we are having the hands-on activity on the database that is MS Access has been introduced. The child needs to understand about what is a database and then what are the uh, key factors, key um, uh, key pointers for database, for example, the degree cardinality, what is the other name of column rows and all that will be all we'll be covering. it. So the blueprint which is shared, you could see VSA means very small answers, SA is small answers, LA is the large answer. So if I talk about entrepreneurial skills, you could see very small answer from this particular part or you could say this particular topic will be of two more and short answer will be for one mark. So total two plus one number of questions uh, you could see here would be three in green skills. Again, you could see the number of questions could be three. Now, if I say here in very small answers, there's an option total four questions are there, but the child has to appear for only and only three they will be all for one mark. So the total weightage for any of these three, amongst the four, any three they have to appear for, and the total weightage, or you could say total marks will be of three. Again, here for small answers, you could see entrepreneurial skills. You could see a short answer for this chapter. One will be short answer for green skills or again, and amongst these two, the child has to appear only and only one. 
So this is the blueprint for part B for database management system. You could see very small answers three and web applications three total six questions but amongst them they have to appear for four so this very small answers they are basically for one mark and for uh, i mean the amongst these uh, amongst this these six questions they have to appear only and only four so total weightage is four then if i talk about small uh, short answers from database, it is three questions. From web applications, three, total six. And they have to appear any four. That means two questions they can opt for. They can leave. They have a choice. And yes, the last question, which is, which is generally competency-based, which is a four mark. So from database, one question will come. From web application, two questions will come. There will be total three questions. And they have an option to leave one. Amongst three, they have to appear only and only two. So this is actually a very, very scoring part, which the child generally skips because they are in fear of that what they'll be writing related to database, how to do that competency-based question. Broadly, if I describe, there are three sections in a question paper, section A, B, and C. In section A, it is totally of five marks. There will be in total six questions. And this complete, you, you could say the uh, complete section A will be from employability skills. That is part A if I talk about. Then section B, total weightage of section B is 12 mark. The total number of questions are 12 and it is from a subject specific. Then section C again is of eight marks. In total, three questions are there. And yes, it is also subject specific base question but it is slightly tricky in which they judge the uh, they judge that how the student has understand and whether the student has developed that competency to answer related to the question which is being put up you could say it is uh, related to the skill build such questions are there so the total mark for term 2 is of 50 in which 25 marks are for theory and 25 marks are for practical. The total time allowed or allocated for this subject to appear is one hour. So part A is of five mark, part B is of 20 mark. Generally what the students do, do when they open the book, they start preparing from part A because they say, okay, we'll start from chapter one, two and move on. So the point I must let you, uh, let you know is that always suggest them to start their preparation from part B because it is the, uh, the weightage of part B is more that is of 20 marks, whereas the weightage of part A is of only five marks. They waste their most of the time by reading, by studying the employability skills, which actually is of five mark only. So they should do the uh, preparation from the last chapter of the subject specific skills because in practicals also the topic will be from subject specific in competency base also the questions will be from there whereas the weightage maximum of uh, subject specific is that of 20 so you should always suggest them to prepare part b first now this is what i was telling you through a blueprint section a in total there are six questions First four questions, they are of one mark only. Amongst these four questions, the child has to appear only three. Five and six, the questions, they are of two mark. This is in section A only. But yes, the, the student has to appear only and only one. So it makes section A has five questions to um, uh, uh, the three and then one, four questions they have to appear. Amongst these four, they have to appear only one, only three. Amongst these two, they have to appear only and only one. Then in section B, you could see it is broadly divided into two parts. If I say first seven to 12 question, they all are of one mark. And from these six questions, that means question number seven to question number 12, they are total six questions. Amongst these questions, they have to appear only and only for any four. 
any four questions. So they are having the option, the choice is given. So prepare your, prepare your student to appear like that only. I have seen in many of the answer copies in many of the cases during the pre-board exams and the pattern also what the students are doing they do not read it they just appear all of them because they are only for one mark in a flow they, they just write so when the child has been assigned when they have been given the question paper for reading they should utilize that time they should see it that what all questions are there they um, wherever the choices are there they should decide they should develop their mind make up the strategy that which all questions they can appear and in which they are sure shot to appear which will not deduct any mark so they should see that amongst this these six questions only four has to be appeared then from question number 13 to 18 again it consists of six questions they all are of two marks, but the student has to appear only for four. Amongst these six questions, they have to appear only for four and each consists of two marks. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices. Now the last section, which is our competency base, there are basically three parts, question number 19, 20 and 21. And the total weightage of section C is of eight mark. They have to appear only two. So one choice is there. So they should, because in generally web application based question, they get confused and at times they uh, just write incorrect answer. So database is very simple concept. If they are very much trained enough for database, one question they should appear from this uh, database one and one they can appear for the web application. Now, this is actually a layout of the question, sample question paper. You could see here that the pattern which I have discussed with you, it is exactly the same one, section A and the options, section B, the options, section C, the options. Now, if I talk about the important concept from each part, so part A and the very first topic is entrepreneurial skills. So it is what, the what is entrepreneur and who is actually and what is entrepreneurship and what is their role towards the society. So in just explain them in a general way. Instead of cramming, give the realistic examples. They should be, um, give them the example of shark, shark tank also. Say, so they the more they see the real uh, real life experiences, the real life examples, the more they understand. Instead of cramming, they should understand by the real life examples. So there are some basic um, entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship activities, for example, toward the social, agricultural and women entrepreneurship. So just explain them. They should write that in their own words. Then what are the qualities they should possess? They like, hard work, optimism, independence. I'm sure you are uh, very trained enough to explain these points and the students also have understood these points. So uh, make them write these qualities in a point way. Always they should not write such qualities in a paragraph way because the more they write in a pointers uh, by specifying them each point, the more readability is there and examiners immediately they just give a full mark for the same. Instead of writing a paragraph, they should be trained to write in a point. Then what is the role of entrepreneur? 
So it should be told as an innovator, as an agent, as a coordinating role, as an employment generation role. So these points are very important and most um, generally these type, I mean, uh, this question is put up in the exam from part A. Then the next chapter is from the green skill. Green skills is towards the social science, or you could say it is toward the society in which they are focusing about the SDG. SDG is Sustainable Development Goals. In total, there are 17 SDGs on which every sector is working in one way or the other. So make them aware towards the environment, make them aware about the SDG goals. And every organization nowadays, they're putting little efforts on uh, these sustainable development goals. So orient them about the same. Then uh, the chapter is focusing on two parts, society and environment, and what is our role in the sustainability of these goals. So what are the problems which are faced like two or um, three major problems related to SDGs like food, water and fuel towards which these goals have been framed out. Discuss these with the students. Then what is the sustainable process? To sum up, I must say that these SDGs are focusing, focusing on quality education, clean water and sanitization, decent work and economic growth, reduce inequality. These are some of the pointers which they should always remember on their tips that whenever the topic related to SDG come, so they can use these points to write such, um, uh, uh, to write their answers. Now the next and very important, I must say this is the most important topic, most important uh, area where the students can score maximum mark is your database management system. So the students are oriented about what is database management system, what is database, because from class 10th onwards, they are oriented for DBMS. Once they understand this, that then in class 11th and 12th, if they took up uh, the IP or computer science as a subject, as their fifth subject, so they'll understand it is going to help them in, uh, I mean, in a long range, it is going to help them. Help them. Also, after class 10, after class 12, when they move and in their any of the um, course which they opt for, specifically if it is related to computer science, they will have a separate subject for database management system. So career opportunities for DBMS, for uh, the students who are moving into DBMS is database administrator. In banking sector, they can go. In accountancy, they can go. Everywhere, I must say, DBMS is one such stream. One, uh, database management, uh, database administrator is one such person who will be there in every organization. It's not related to education. It's not related to any commercial. It's not related to any other public domain. But yes, database is being utilized in every domain. So if you are giving them the real life example like a school and you tell them that, yes, in our school, we create a database for every class or you could say for every section and how the data is being structured how the data has been stored in an orderly way to fetch the record to the uh, to make changes and uh, if you orient them by giving the real life examples they will understand and obviously they'll score good four marks complete and without um, you could say making much of the mistake they can easily understand and sure short answers they sure sure short marks they will get from this particular part so database then what various softwares with which the database can be created. Then there are two terms in which the students always get confused. One is called as front end and second end is second is called as back end. So tell them what is the major difference. The difference is wherever they do the coding, the face, or you could say the application which they can see with which they interact, any of the Google Play Store application which they use is actually the front end. Whatever they are looking at to interact with the device, to give some information is the front end. To create a front end, there are so many languages like C, C++, Python, R, there are so many. But whatever information you are writing into it is going at the back and is saved somewhere. 
So that somewhere is actually the database where the information is getting stored. And when you want to fetch it, when you want to see that, will be retrieved from the backend. So when you see any application, it is not working only by looking at the front end, but actually it is a sync up between the front end and back end. So when the correct information is stored at a back end, then you will get the correct response. For example, your, uh, your uh, railway reservation website or your air ticketing or any other where you are booking something. So you see the application, you see that you have to enter your name, details and all, you fill it. So that is a front end which you see. And when that information is getting saved somewhere to see that whether your ticket has been booked, what all bookings you have done, what is the payment, when is um, you are going to board and all, everything is saved at the back end, which can be retrieved later when you want to see that. So that is a back end. So um, in this subject specific skills related to database, there are four important term one is the item which is the data which is being stored in the database then the field the columns in which the data is uh, being stored vertical columns like roll number name marks hobby they will be called as your field field is also called as the attribute that is the property or the quality if i talk about i have created one table for student so the field will be Role number, name, marks, contact address, hobby, houses, for example, in a school, if they are having the house or the clubs. So they will be all called as the fields. When I say records, that means the row wise, horizontal uh, role. Uh, that example I'll just take in the next slide. And then the value that would be actual textual or a numerical data stored into it. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at Rs. 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices. Now this is one structure in which the fields which I was telling you, employee code, employee name, employee address, employee designation, employee contact number, employee salary, these all are the fields. These all are the fields. And the item for this particular table is employee. Item is also called as entity. It is also called as the table name is also called as entity. Here it is employee, as you could see. The field is this and the record is one complete row holding the data of a employee. For example, E001, ABC here in a horizontal row you could see this is a complete row and this is called as one record one record of the employee next is the data types that what all type of information are being stored under each column if i say name so it will be obviously the string value if i say roll number it will be a value which is not holding any decimal value if i say date of birth it would be a date if i say time so it would be date time so there are certain categories and amongst which these data could be fixed in could be saved for example numeric types alphanumeric types binary date and time and other variable type so they should know students should be well oriented about what are different data types data type means the type of value which they can store if i say if for example i say uh, delhi so delhi is actually a string value a value which could not have any uh, integer value 
so what type of data it would be it would be at the variable type right if i say 99 so it could be a numeric type marks if i say it could be in a decimal that you could include in a numeric type and if i say um, uh, that uh, yeah if wherever you have to store as a well as an answer as yes or no so binary type data could be utilized it could be yes or no or zero or one now when we discuss about the database there are two very important keys or columns which are called as primary key and foreign key if you see the example here in this table service id and service name these are two columns which are being created amongst them if i say service id is one such column which holds the unique value that means a value which cannot be assigned to somebody else so it is two three four or anyone whereas service name could be say for example it is accounting it is security it is maintenance the name service name could be same but id will not be so you will have to find you will have to train the students to let them know that what is service id that means the column which holds unique value which cannot be repeated amongst any of the rows so in a table any such column column means vertical which holds a value which are unique which are not common are called as primary key there could be many columns in which the data can be unique but it is up to the administrator to decide that which column can be called as a primary key okay so once uh, in a table there could, there could be only and only one primary key now there's another table which is created here and you could see service id was created as a primary key in the first table whereas in the second table also the service id is being utilized so if a primary key of one table is used in a second table, so the same column which is used in a second table will be called as a foreign key for the second table. So it is primary and foreign key. They should be trained. They should be knowing about what is primary key and what is a foreign key. Then when we, we understand about database management system, they are also oriented about one language which is called as SQL. We generally say it as SQL and the full form is structured query language. All the students, they should be oriented about different categories of these commands which are utilized in SQL language, which are DDL and DML. DDL means data definition language, whereas DML says it is a manipulation language. The difference between these DDL and DML is DDL, as the name says, data definition language. When the table structure, when the database structure, when the outer boundary of a table, table is being created, like, like deciding the column name, the data type, the, uh, the primary key and all, they will be all included in DDL commands. So the DDL commands will be create, alter, drop for deleting a table whereas the name says data manipulation means if the data has been already saved in a database now i want to change that data role number two i have to modify it as role number 12. so when the value inside the table is the table is being changed or modified so we use dml commands and there are some uh, uh, some commands like select insert delete and update so they should be oriented about the DDL and DML commands both. The last unit for this um, subject specific skill is web application and security. It's a vast topic, but yes, common and important points should be, they should know about the accessibility options, networking fundamentals, what are instant messaging tools and what is the meaning of instant messaging? For example, WhatsApp is the recent one. Children are very much used to of it. WhatsApp, Telegram, then chatting with a contact using a Google Talk. What is blogging? Nowadays, blogging, vlogging, it's very common. So they should know about what is blog, how to create a blog, how to be a blogger. 
then uh, using offline block editor some tools have been introduced in the book they can go uh, and they can write their own blogs online transactions where now in this pandemic situation everybody has learned about how to do the online transaction even the students by booking some uh, orders uh, online for their eateries or for some of their products from various social net social sites uh, online sites so what is online transaction how it is being done what is internet security it is a part of cyber security how to be a secure what are the precautionary measures measures to be taken whether to share your details on the net or not though we are globally connected with each other we feel that we are um, secured by putting the privacy options but honestly telling you if you are putting your information even if in a secured way on social media on social networking site you are not secured so you have to restrict what all information you are putting on a social media it yes within a closed domain it's okay but you never know that when and how the information could be morphed the information could be utilized for illegal purposes so orient the students at this very age so that in future they are more um, because at this tender age generally they may commit such mistake because they share their information and at last they end up to a problem so aware them about the internet security maintain workplace safety prevent accidents and prevent um, emergencies health and safety at work now um, related to accessibility option they should be aware about the serial keys then uh, networking fundamentals like client server architecture then internet terminologies the data transfer how it is the data has been passed from one end to another using a peer to peer network or um, uh, why the networking is being introduced various important tools with which the data can be transferred so these were some of the things then instant messaging as i told you about whatsapp google talk telegram these are some of the common things then what is the difference between a chatting and an emailing a common is common example uh, or you could say common point is in chatting you get the you get the instant reward whereas if i talk about the email the user has to be there online and if the mail has been received then they then only he is going to revert back whereas in chatting if i say the person generally chatting only occurs when the person is available online and re request response simultaneously if it is done then it is called as chatting then creating um, and publishing the web pages doing the blogging uh, there is a blogger site also which is free of course there are so many uh, web sources available for writing the blogs uh, orient the students train them to write more and more on the blog they should um, see also various blogs written by any of the subject specific topic any of their uh, i mean uh, area in which they are having the interest on they can search they can write they can view they can comment they should create their own blogs also they can share with their friends and peers and it will definitely going to help and uh, make them more motivated towards a subject so now i focus my focus will be on the competency based questions as i told you that in this part we discuss about the database and web application so you will see here one question is definitely from your sql for example here consider the following sql command i am discussing question number 21 for a moment um they are saying consider the following sql command like this it is a create table command various columns with the constraint like not null have been created uh, columns with the data types have been given to you and then later on they may ask um, like what will be the command what will be the uh, query to insert a record what will be the query to view the primary key what will be the query to fetch a specific record related to this particular table so such questions may appear so um, there is uh, my sql which is a, a client based application it is free of course they can download from internet or you could say uh, sql lite is available open source software it is through this they, they can practice their sql commands 
then related to your uh, there will be two questions on the basis of web applications and yeah one question definitely they should appear amongst they have to rather because they among these three questions they have to appear only two so one question will be from the web application for sure another question related to the database you could see a table structure has been given and then they may ask you write the sql statement to write the detail like select all science, science students from the table student then table name will be there columns will be there attributes that means the columns are there records are there and they may ask you for these simple queries to write so four queries will be there for four marker in i mean one line only they can write every single query and it will be very scoring for them so my tips for you to which can be shared with the students is they should start revision early they should organize the time ask them to start from database only because it once they get the interest they will definitely work for other topics also look after i mean they have to look for uh, themselves for study then regular breaks are required they should do the writing practice um, then solve maximum of the sample papers they should do the more they practice the more they get uh, oriented the more they will be in habit of writing because now what we have experienced because of this online situation they are not very much trained to write the correct answer they know the answer but they're not trained they hesitate to write or they're not in their i mean mode of writing so the more they uh, solve the sample papers the more tuned they are into writing the examination so ask them to do so so exam is a skill but yes you have to learn it and enjoy it. so but any query anything it is there the sample paper released by the goel publications should be seen the maximum samples sample papers are there look after them the questions quality are very nice you can definitely have a look of them and that will be all from my side i am open for any questions if it is you may kindly um, can you see any questions in the chat box yeah i'll just see ma'am yeah no not as if for now all right then ma'am thank you so much thank yes. you all the participants thank you ma'am thank you so much for the wonderful session it was very enlightening to know about all the things thank you everyone you all can leave now now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math science social science english and hindi in english and hindi medium Bright Duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers, and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.